Hi, and good morning, everyone, to the June Partner webinar. Uh, hopefully, you're basking in the sun like we are over here. We seem to have quite a nice start to the summer. I think thanks to the hot air that's coming up from Africa. So, um, moving on, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to hand over to Dennis. He will now take you through the um, marketplace spotlight we have, which is Sestec, um, and the uh, AI automated products that they have and how they're integrating them. It's just nice to see um, the product set, what they do, why it's important, and um, also there's a brief video so you can see um, what it looks like. So over to you, Dennis. I can see your screen, but presentation. Fantastic. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it here and hopefully you'll be able to see my screen. Yep, is everything perfect. Uh, yep, perfect. satisfactory? Very well. Um, well, thank you guys for uh, giving us the time to present to you Sestec. Um, it's, you know, I'm Dennis. Uh, I'm senior sales here in the UK. Um, and then on the call, I also have Ilhan. We, we work together on the, on the UK and the European market together. We handle all sales related or partner related inquiries, or we have partners to, to sell or, or go to meetings together. So we are the two people that you can be in touch with if you are wondering more around Sestec and Novo, Speed Analytics and other, other side products that we have, which I'm gonna present to you in a, in a second. Um, just a quick company snapshot. We have been around for 23 years. We have our HQ in, in Istanbul, in Turkey. Um, almost 400, 410 clients today in 20 different countries, um, 150 people team, a majority of the team sits in Istanbul and Ankara, but we also have um, quite many colleagues in other cities as well, such as New York, Dubai, and London. I'm sitting in London, by the way, uh, and Ilhan is sitting in, in Istanbul. Um, we have 16 patent, patents that we have applied for, uh, 11, 11 has been granted, and five uh, is actually pending. What an, a quick story I can maybe tell about, about Sestec is that we, when we first started the company in 2022, three years ago, we had this incredible growth of an organic growth in, uh, in, in Turkey. All the banking customers, insurance customers were reaching out to us for, 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 uh, for automation, uh, mostly. It could be either a virtual agent or a uh, voice biometrics, or it could be maybe speech analytics. And um, what happened is that we took that, that growth and we put it back into our product, which made us a bit more like a, a product focused tech partner other than a more like a partner and sales organization for 10, 15 years. And then we kind of build the, the sales organization around it, which means that we are more R&D people, more system engineers, more you know, nerdy people really in the team rather than being in, in all about sales. So I just wanna give you a quick glimpse of where we came from and where we're going. Um, what we do is it's quite simple. Um, you know, we understand what gets set really. We have a very robust, very high-tech speech recognition engine. Um, out of the box with any English dialect, we have 96% accuracy, which means that what gets said, we understand, and we can analyze that, um, that, that conversation really quickly and easily. Um, we also have other um, underlying technologies such as text-to-speech, uh, text NLPs, voice biometrics, AI. We own all these technologies, proprietary technologies, which means that we are very flexible in terms of going to clients and, and fine tune and adjust um, uh, accordingly to their needs, since we don't really rely on any third party to, to help us to achieve these, uh, these features. Um, we have three products, but today I'm just gonna talk about an analytics side of things. Um, conversational AI, virtual legend, everyone knows that. Um, voice biometrics is, you know, my voice is my password kind of uh, solution, either passive or active. And of course, we have the, the um, you know, agent interaction analytics and then reporting uh, f um, product called uh, conversational analytics. Um, we have done a lot of tests uh, back in the days to see, you know, can we get better than all the big players such as IBM and Google and Amazon? And we can uh, happily say that we have actually achieved much better results than what they have. And hence the reason, I think, when we go and talk into contact center clients, um, that's something that they are benchmarking us against. Uh, you know, hey, I'm doing a quick POC with this, I'm doing a quick POC with that. Um, you know, are you, are you happy to do one? So, yeah, of course we are. And then 
they're really astonished by the results that we can give them. Um, challenges, yes. Um, you know, I want faster service. That's how things start. Um, oh, okay, how can I get um, authorization faster? Could be maybe a question that could come in. Um, but ma mainly what we're hearing is, is you know, how can we do have, have a real-time monitoring? How can we improve agent performance? How can we improve customer experience? How can we get a supervisor to do a better job? How can we save time? Is what we're hearing from the market. Hence the reason I want to talk to you quickly about our um, analytics um, and solution here. Um, so um, a, a major challenge um, that is, um, you know, facing, you know, contact centers are facing is that there's an increasing variety of interaction types, right? And they're coming from a growing number of channels, such as uh, calls, emails, tweets, SMS, chats, social media, and more. While many companies today maybe do perform QM on their calls, too few apply this, um, this practice on all the channels, right? So this means that companies receive an incomplete view of why people are contact their, their organization, how well agents are performing their job, or whether customers and prospects are like satisfied with the experience. So what we're hearing from the market is it's quite straightforward. You know, how do I get a better image of my brand? How do I get my agents to become more efficient? How do I measure NPS scoring? If there's a conversation between an agent and the client and there's a missed opportunity such as, hey, I'm using Waterfall and they're offering me this, maybe that information is, could be crucial and critical for the end user to capture and, and, and have it somewhere to be able to analyze and, and you know, based on that, make informed decision. Um, we're hearing high QA cost. Yeah, I have 10% of the team being quality managers, you know, out of 100 to have 10. Um, and they cost you know a lot of money, and you, can, you can't really do every, you can't really analyze every you know, every single call. And how do we get more efficient? Is what we're hearing from the market today. These are some of the headlines that just have uh, I've just added here. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more, but these are the, the main ones we're hearing. Um, so um, what they want to do is really you know hey I have this data, I have these calls, and how do I look? In an easy way, what gets said, and how do I get some some insights out of it is what 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 they want to achieve today when we're talking to contact centers all over the world. Um, they're asking us, hey, can you have calls and chats and video uh, recordings? Can we all be analyzed in one little platform? So yes, we can do that for you. Um, and we we hear a lot of business issues. Uh, it's mostly around automation, mostly around being efficient. Agent uh, satisfaction, agent performance is what we what we're hearing from the market lately, um, and also um, you know decision making. You know, how do I look at data and make informed good decision on depending on what data I have at hand? Um, so the, our, our our AQM is a, is a really robust solution. Um, we can score 100% of the interactions when an a, a QI quality manager is looking at a form um, and he has to take some some things in, you know manually because they're quite important and he needs to check the answers before doing the click. Yes, we can do that. Or we can have a hybrid model. We can have like three or four fields, automa auto, you know, automatic fields, and then we can have some, some manual evaluation added into it in one go. Um, we can have, we have a, a training module within the platform a new agent can just jump onto this um, uh, in built-in training module. They can put a script in front of them. They can read the script. They can answer the script, and we can then then evaluate how good they are in actually getting back to the customer. Another thing that, of course, um, an AQM will be helpful for is is the compliance. Uh, when you are buying insurance to a, to a, an insurance salesperson, they usually you start sending an email of the terms and conditions. They read it on the on the phone. And that is to be very accurate. Um, so we could, for example, test that. Is it done the proper way? Am I under risk of, of being fined if I'm not doing things correctly, of not informing the client or end user in a timely manner? So these are kind of the things that we, we, we help with the AQM. Um, and then you know, we'll, we'll love to show you more, obviously. Any more questions, feel free to, to ask my way. Um, I also have Ilhan on the call, which has been around longer than I have, so he's, uh, he's a more more trained to, to answer the technical questions. Um, don't want to read everything here, but um, I think one thing that um, 
we could uh, talk about here is that we do a lot of non-English languages. You know, we do Arabic, you know, we, we do Latvian, we do Dutch, we do Finnish, we do Swedish. Um, and we are adding more Nordic, Nordic um, um, languages as we speak. Uh, we can also do dual language models, like you know, if said Dutch and French can speak spoken on the same same conversation, yep, no problem. Our system will be able to detect. Oh, this is you know, this is Dutch, this is French, for example. So we could we could do that, and so or something that we get asked for quite uh, um, uh, quite often. We also have, can analyze emotion and sentiment on each call. We can you know feel tension. If you have real mo real time monitoring enabled in the back end, and a supervisor is actually on duty, and then one agent is having a, having a situation with a, a client or end user, and that end user is saying stuff like, hey, I want to talk to a supervisor, I want to talk to uh, your manager, then it can automatically uh, trigger that to the um, supervisor dashboard and say, okay, this agent is having a struggle, maybe you want to you know, go to the intercom and take over the conversation. Or whether it's maybe sales and they're getting some some um, you know negative feedback about the experience they have, they've had, they can automatically push some content onto the um, agent desktop, saying that hey, okay, the customer is not very happy. Offer this to make it up for what we have done. So there's many options here to to how to utilize this. Again, I think a differentiator that we have um, uh, as 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 Sestech. Um, and now it's time for a short demonstration, um, and then we can take some questions if you have any. Um, and I will just try to figure out if I can enable the video. I don't have the video option in front of me. Um, maybe I can get some help. Yeah, let me just see if I can do it for you. Yes, please. Should I stop sharing maybe? I have some sharing actually. That's okay, I've, I've taken control. Lovely, thank you. Today, I will be introducing you to our new solution, Novo Analytics. With our AI field omnichannel analytics solution, it's now possible to analyze not only voice calls, but also written conversations from different channels, such as live chat, WhatsApp, chatbot. It's a cloud agnostic solution that can be installed on any cloud or on premise. On the conversations screen, you can easily perform a quick search based on the interaction information, the words or phrases mentioned in those conversations. You can also search by customer data specific to your business, such as customer number, customer segment. You can list those conversations based on your filter selection, and you can select the call and simply view the details. If you wish, you can always rewind and listen to the important moments of the call you're provided with a 100% complete and accurate transcription of the call. In addition, you can also view emotional and acoustic parameters, such as interruption, pauses, silence, and sentiment analysis. Novo Analytics automatically transcribes all the conversations into text. That way, you can create queries based on conversation parameters, emotional parameters, and acoustic parameters and you can easily access all the calls you need within seconds statistics comparison feature under root cause analysis enables you to compare different types of calls and helps you extract actionable insights for example you can compare the satisfied customer to the dissatisfied customer on a departmental basis and analyze why they're not satisfied based on the statistical data or you can compare the successful agents to the unsuccessful ones and pinpoint what causes the difference. In addition to many other reports, Novo Analytics offers non-first call resolution and trend analysis reports. In Novo Analytics, calls can be analyzed both offline and in real time. With Novo Analytics, 
you can evaluate your customer representatives manually, automatically, or in a hybrid manner. Thanks to the flexible structure of the product, you can create completely customized forms. You can have an individual score generated for each call of your agents. You can automatically share the relevant scores with your agents and supervisors and provide instant feedback.